All right, I want to welcome everybody to tonight. Tonight is the final installment of Customer Service Champions. This is going to be more of a shorter session. It's kind of wrapping up everything that we started to go over before. Um, I want to share with you my thoughts on getting reviews. Um, I know how hard it can be because self-included, I have an issue with this. And uh, it part of your customer service journey is to kind of let future customers know how you do. And in my mind, there are a couple of areas that we all struggle. And I'm going to spend my time to take it slow. Uh, I think you guys should write this down um, and you know make this part of your customer service journey, things that you think about uh, before you go to a signing, uh, any type of signing, and then also immediately after. It should become part of your process to ask for reviews. I'm going to give you some things that I've done, and you guys have actually seen this in play this year at Notary Stars. I have been asking for reviews. Ms. Best's opening slides ask on nightly training for reviews. We insert them into the chats during the uh, sessions. Of course, we want reviews for Notary Stars, but I do it for Unlimited Inc. as well. Um, I do it for uh, myself as a notary. So let's start with your loan signing business first. Okay, let's unpack that. Um, a lot of us work for snap docs or signing order, and I'm going to be honest with you, okay? If I left you a review, and I did when I first started, if I left you a review every time you did a good job on signing order, then I am telling every single signing agency in this country to take my best notary off the market and give them business. So a lot of companies on signing order and snap docs are not going to leave you reviews unless you ask for them. Now, I learned this the hard way. I have a ton of great notaries in Arizona. And all of a sudden, when they got to like five, six, seven, 12 good reviews, we used to do it every time we wrote a paycheck, which was every 15 days. And it would say, this notary did really great work between this date and this date, every time we wrote a paycheck. Then we went to weekly payouts and we stopped doing it then and handed it once a month. And you know we would do it if they did an exceptional job. Now we've kind of slowed our roll on that and we only do it, you know, every so often because what happens is other signing agencies start saying, oh, wow, whoever this is, is killing it over there. And I learned this the hard way, right? You know, I'm, some of these signing agencies are older than me and I'm like logging into signing order going, why haven't they been reviewing these notaries all along? Now I know. So here's what you can do when you're asking for a review from signing agencies. If you write every time that you do a file and ask them for a review, they're going to say no, or they're just going to omit it, and you're never going to know. If you have a local company, and I've told you guys my trick about seeing who has the most business in your area and really going after those companies, I've been really harping on that this year, because I think some of the other courses say go after every company and mine is like, no, just go after the ones that have the bulk of the business in your area because that's gonna who's gonna keep you afloat. Um, after you've done you know, 20 or 30 signings, that's not that many if you're doing one a day for them uh, or a month or so, reach out to them and say, hey, I haven't had any errors. You haven't had to come back to me in a while. I was wondering if you could just leave me one positive feedback on snap docs or signing order, depending on what platform they work with. Make sure to keep that in your mind, which platform they're actually using. Um, that's gonna be your first method of getting reviews. The second one is if you receive, and I get these at unlimited ink all the time, and I always reach out to the notary and say, hey, the escrow officer got really great feedback on you. If they pass that along to you, say, thank you. Would you mind posting this in my signing order or snap docs profile? Again, making sure that they use either one of those profiles. Ask them, would you mind doing that for me? I really enjoyed working with you. Keep it short and concise and sweet. And then the third one is if the signing agency compliments you or you go above and beyond uh, and you really save the day for them and they make that known to you say thank you this is all a part of my customer service you know that i want to offer my clients would you mind letting people know that i went out of my way for you uh, just by leaving us a small little review on signing order or snap dogs um, that's going to get you reviews now amrock you can't really do that with their review system you get to see your reviews you get to see four categories that your scorecard gives you um, Mortgage Connect doesn't really have a rating system. Service Link does, they send it out every month, but it really is just your own personal knowledge of how you're doing. It's not in their internal 
Um, but these companies that are on snap docs and signing order, that's really where you want to kind of sporadically ask for reviews. Now we've talked, and this is still in the wheelhouse of loan settings. I'm going to talk about general notary work to build up your public reviews. You really need a way when you're approaching clients to show them, hey, I did a great job. And you can't always rely on the signing agency. You can't always rely on the title agency. They don't know how important those reviews are to you unless you're looking for another company. And a lot of good title and escrow officers won't leave you a review because they don't want their bad notary being swooped up and their good notary being swooped up. I mean, I know notary people who in the beginning when they found me would not refer me over because they, they I had a woman flat out tell me, I don't want to tell anybody about you because you're my secret weapon. Like you're my, you're my guy and I don't want to share you. And I, I appreciated that. She gave me a ton of business, but at the same time, it was kind of not good for me because what if she lost her job or what if she changed jobs, which she eventually did. And of course she took us with her and, you know, it became a whole thing and we've been everywhere with her and she doesn't need one local notary now. She needs lots of notaries. So it was good that I evolved as well. But in that moment, while I was growing my business and she was growing her work as an escrow officer, it's kind of not fair, right? You know, she didn't want to tell anybody about me. Um, and you will fall into that category. Uh, so here's what you can do to, and I'm going to get to you, Miss Christine. Let me get these words out of my mouth. I, you can do this and we're not allowed to leave business cards at the table, but there are days where we know we nailed it. We know that signer was happy. We were in our home, in their home. We know that they were doing, you know, that they're, they're, uh, they wanted, you know, to say something kind. I want you guys to know, and we're going to unpack this tonight. Your notary starts listing. You need to have that link on hand. Okay. That's going to help you also because those reviews get sent over. When we send you out, we have notaries that are collecting reviews consistently on notary stars, as well as their Google and their Yelp. You need to have three places, a minimum, so that you can really shine. Um, and you want to have those listings on hand on your phone uh, where you can text them out. Uh, you can use Bitly as a short link. You don't want to stop your signers, but in that moment when they say, you know, I'm so happy you were here, uh, you know, you did such a great job. And I ask every signer right about the end, I always ask them, um, how am I doing for you? Are you enjoying, are, are you enjoying this signing? Do you, am I getting through? Do you, you know, is this the worst thing you've done all day? I, I try to start to get that feedback toward the end of the signing. And we all know there's going to be some signings where you just feel like, or can't wait to get out of here and they can't either. And that's not the one you ask for the review on. The one you ask for the review on is when you're having a great experience, they're having a great experience. If you've ever waited tables, it's that moment where you look back at the room and you're like, damn, I'm controlling this. You know, I'm doing this. You're going to feel like that when you're uh, a loan signing agent as well. You're going to look at that table and you're like, dang, I just did this. You know, I just rolled this out. I just banged out four loan signings back to back and I'm doing them right. That's when you can start asking for reviews and you should, and when they suggest it, and you should have immediately at the end, would you mind if I sent you a, a short text message uh, to have, because you already have their cell phone numbers because um, you're confirming appointments with them. Ask them if you can ask them to leave you a review about their loan signing and tell them, say, please don't mention anything about title. This is just for my business. Um, I always tell people uh, when I was at the table, I would say, the more reviews I have, the more ability I have to make a, a, a great living in this. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. You know, I can you can say this is a very competitive field and your review will help me get more business and it will. In turn, those reviews can be put onto your resume. They can be put onto your website. They, when you send in a resume, you can say, hey, check my reviews from signers. That's a really great way to get the review that you're looking for um, versus going directly to title or the signing agency. Because let's face it, if you get the same review all the time from the same place, it's not as meaningful if you have them spread out by different perspectives of signers. Then when you're applying for that direct business, Print those things out and say, let me share some of my favorite reviews from you, from, from you and give them a link and say, you can go right on Yelp and verify these reviews. Now, it can be very scary to have 
a review system where people can negatively review you. That's why you control the conversation, right? You only ask for reviews when it's good. Most people who are getting a loan signing don't know that they can find you on Yelp or Google until you tell them. So that's why you only want to let them know about it when, when you uh, think you've done a good job. I'm going to take a pause. Ms. Christine uh, had her hand raised there, and I wanted to ask what your question was there. And don't forget to unmute there. Oh. One more time, you got to unmute. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I was just trying to get logged in for class. Hi, Travis. Hi, Ben. Yeah, I got oh, it. So you didn't have a question? You. No. Okay, perfect. So what Thank you. doesn't know is that when we hold Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday class, everybody comes in with their hand virtually raised. And once I get them logged in, I put their hand down. So that's what she was doing. And I got you too, TT, unless you have a question. I'm going to put your hand down because I'm going to assume you're good. Okay. Thank Sorry. you. Okay, perfect. So when you're working with loan signing uh, in the loan signing sector, that's really a great way for you to get your uh, self noticed. When I started doing it and I had my listings up for just Ronnie Mickle Notary Public, now we're converting over to uh, unlimited ink listings. Um, that was a really great way for you to, uh, for me to showcase to escrow officers, this is this is what I'm capable of. And I started asking signers, and I had, you know, this is pre-notary stars. I had my Google, my Yelp, my uh, anything that I I could find to leave a review, and I would alternate so that I could show that they were coming from different sources. So your first signer, you might ask, and you can also ask them, you know, do you mind? doing it on uh, Google, or do you mind doing it on Yelp? Try to drive it to where you want it to go. And if they say, oh, I, I don't have a Yelp account, then that's fine. Just say you can do Google, Yelp, or this site, Notary Stars. Um, you need to have those in place. I know that Google also has a QR code now, um, as well as uh, uh, Notary Stars in your listing. When you log in, it says edit my listing. Uh, there is a QR code that you can get where people can scan. You can print that out. You can put it on your business card. So that all they have to do is scan it and it'll take them right to the re review page uh, to leave you a review. And it will make your notary stars listing more powerful. Also your Google business and Yelp is going to be more powerful when you have reviews on them. Now that's gonna move us into unpacking general notary work. This is a little, it's kind of, I can't say that it's more scary, but having that Google business listing, your notary stars listing, your Yelp listing, all of them, always ask every time, how did you hear about me? And then you know what platform they came from. When they come from Yelp, the general public that comes from Yelp, and all of you that have a Yelp, uh, please don't come and attack me and don't say that I'm a, a mean person, but I'm on Yelp too, and I have a fake name for Yelp because if I leave a bad review, I don't want people to know it's me. Um, but we go on Yelp because we're looking, when, usually when we use Yelp, we're looking to see if we're going to a good restaurant. What did 5,000 other people think about that place or 200 people think about that place? And then when we go somewhere, the first thing that goes through our mind when it didn't go our way is, I'm going to leave a review about that. I just, I, I have two places, we've talked about this, and just recently, I live in a beautiful golf course property in Tucson. Not kidding you. Beautiful. And for the last six months, they've had one person in the leasing office, and I'm trying to make one item happen that will save me so much money over the next six months for having two places. I'm going to add someone into that place and just rent it out, and I don't want to do it without them being on the lease because I'm going to eventually get rid of that place. And they, they seriously um, – it took – seven days and the guy was like i'm gonna have to move i have my job starting next week and i just called them and i was like you have to check your yelp and your google because you now have a full recount and screenshots of every email you sent me telling me and putting me off i need this done today and i'm going to drive from phoenix to tucson and i'm going to stand in your office until it gets done she was like no need for that it got done i removed the reviews but that's the scary part of yelp you can have people bully you into doing things i've had people um, one of our worst reviews on uh, Unlimited Ink on Yelp is 
uh, the notary service wanted to charge $10 per signature. And I just replied, that is the state minimum for $10 per signature. I mean, I don't control the fees. I just charge what I'm allowed to charge uh, because it used to be $2 and they hadn't gotten there yet. And unfortunately that's still out there, but I just replied to it professionally. And uh, you have to really think out your replies. That's the scary part about being on you know, in a review system, but you need those in order to make your business survive. And if you've taken any other marketing courses uh, or customer service courses, they will tell you that actually bad reviews can become a really great way to show how professional you are. Um, perfect scores look bad. Same thing with reviews that are every single day, hour after hour, unless you have like a special event that they're talking about. Um, Asking for reviews every day, not every person is going to get them, but the probability of you getting them is going to go higher. Working in general notary assignments is also going to help you. When title and escrow don't know um, what the review is for, all they you can ask them, you know, just talk about your notary experience. They don't have to put what documents that they were getting notarized and all of those things. Um, you just have your customers help you build up your resume. And I'm going to take a, uh, the other Christina. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So I did have a question about Notary Stars reviews. Mm -hmm. I just started doing them since you asked us to do them. Mm -hmm. I started asking for them. And I noticed there's a section there for us to respond to the review. Mm -hmm. Does that get posted or do they at least get a message that we responded? Because it saves it, but it doesn't show it. It goes back to the customer, and then it also shows publicly. Um, and only your level can respond to the reviews. And what this does is, I'll, I'll be honest with you, if you guys really, on all your listings, use words like, I was so happy to be your notary and help you with your notarization. And, and don't, don't use my exact words. You want to be organic. That's also going to help your SEO on your listing and help more people find you. It doesn't matter just on Notary Stars. It matters on Yelp and on Google as well. Keywords so, are keywords. So when I go on there, it shows that it's been saved, but it doesn't show up publicly. Does it need to be approved by someone in the background? It might. I will look into that because that's also a feature that we only added when we started talking about the reviews. Okay. I'll make a note to actually. I won't even need to write that down because it's on. The, it'll be a burning question in the back of my head as soon as we get off the. Okay. Call. Yeah, because I, I have five on there. Every time I go on there, just see it says that it's, I've I've saved it, but I can't see it on there. Yep. I will take a look at the back end and see what's going on with that. Uh, okay. And if you don't mind, send me an email from you directly to contact it. Uh, notarystars.com and remind me I'm just looking about the listing because I will reply directly to you since you asked the question. Contact at notarystars.com. Yep. And just a reminder to everyone, I am contact at notarystars.com when you don't need just me. Please use help at notarystars.com because it goes to the entire team, including Miss Beth. And they do a lot for me while I'm balancing two companies. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So Getting this back on track, um, I do want to show of hands of, and, and this is just a straightforward question, how many of you actually ask for reviews at your science? Not one hand, okay, one hand went up, two, two hands, three. Okay, so I see three hands went up. Now let's put those down. And how many of you leave a business card on the table or in some way slip a business card? And it's okay. I know we've talked about not doing that as signing agents, not judging. How many of you put down business cards? Lots more hands going up. Okay. And you guys can put those down as well. Which one of those, ask yourself, which one of those has more longevity for you out of that practice? Now, Ms. Beth talked about magnetizing those business cards, and that was smart because I've actually got things on my refrigerator. Uh, OxyClean, the carpet company that I use, they're on the side of my refrigerator. It's like a little Rolodex of anybody that's ever given me a magnet. So that is a really great idea. But a business card has less longevity. And here's why. Because they get thrown away. They get stuck into something. 
Um, they get put down in a vilfo and not found for years later, and that's great. But the internet is there every day, even while you sleep. It is running 24 seven for you in your favor. Every time you get a review and it's fresh, it works in your favor. Now I wanna talk about negative reviews. Some of you, if you get a negative review, the reason signing order in SatDocs does not tell you uh, that if you get a negative review is because every single notary in the country will fight tooth and nail to get that removed. I guarantee you I can run a test on any random person on this video tonight and call you and tell you if you have a negative review and you will want to fight and get it taken off. I've never met a notary that does not. But the fact of the matter is, is that you can have great reviews to follow that. And I look at those things and I know other signing agencies do too. I see notaries that sign up on uh, signing order three years ago and then I, I could see right at the beginning, they didn't have any training, they didn't know what they were doing. And then they start going to courses and they get those courses and then the reviews turn around and it starts getting better and better. And people even say, you can clearly tell that this notary was newer three years ago and has learned what they're doing. Um, people start to leave those kinds of reviews. So it, the only way after a couple of years of getting a really poor review is if you do something really horrible. And that can happen as well. Um, I see people do, I've lost a couple of light bulb notaries this year to poor customer service. Only those issues. White glove notaries that got the pick, uh, excuse my language, pick of the litter when it comes to the signings that we put out in certain areas and all because of their customer service issues, they lost all of the business. Once you get there, you know, once you have people seeking you out, you've got the reviews you need, it will get easier for you um, as a signing agent and as a notary in general. Uh, but you need to ask for the reviews. If you learn anything here tonight is that you have to ask, you know, they say ask and you shall receive. Um, every person you ask is not going to give you a review and that's okay. You should never stalk your signers and never pressure them, but you can use that as leverage if you build up enough reviews and never forget this, okay? Make it a calendar reminder to come back and watch this one episode every year to remind yourself about reviews. And, and this is gonna be a shorter episode and then we'll open it up for any questions related and then we'll stop the video so we can answer any questions and use it as a mentorship tonight. But you have to get into the mentality of asking. And this is one thing that I have put on my personal calendar, along with other things this year. We talked about goal setting at the beginning of the year. Um, it is one of my goals to reach X amount of reviews for both companies. Set a goal for yourself on how many reviews and how many reviews do you think it would be impressive for an escrow officer to see or a general, no, um, general public member to see when they're looking to use you. My vision is, you know, 100 current. Now that might take a lot to get to 100, but then to keep them current is not so hard. Then you're only needed a review a month or a review here. As you're building your business, ask for those reviews. Now I'm gonna make a warning here um, because I know that there are different mentalities out there, okay? Um, and, I, and that's okay. I'm not the, uh, and I'm not pegging any, particular person when I say I'm not the six-figure guy. There are a lot of six-figure courses out there. I'm not the one that's going to pump you up and, and say, go do this and get this done because I take a different approach to life in general and a different approach to getting my business to where it's at. My approach is slow and steady. Um, you want to make sure you do not badger your signers. You don't want your reviews to look fake. Uh, people can see through that. So take your time, but make it a goal. And it will come out naturally if you take the slow and steady route of getting those reviews um, over time. 100 reviews, you got to think about it. If you got 25 a month, that's four months. If you got 15 a month, you know, that's around six months. Um, in a year, and I love this. My best girlfriend used to tell me when I was younger, I was trying to do things and she'd be like, Ronnie Lee, in a year, everything's going to be different. And she used to say it around the time when I was trying to figure to finish a course because I did my associates. Then I went back and got two more years and got my bachelor's. And then I went back for another year and a half and got my master's. 
And she would always be like, in a year, everything's going to be different. You're going to cross this mark. So look at it that way. In a year, everything will be different. And you can do the slow and steady route. And a year goes by so fast, a blink of an eye. You know, it's, I feel like I was just talking to someone about this, you know, February last year, I feel like it just happened. And it's already been an entire year. Um, so you can do a lot in a year uh, and accomplish a goal of getting those reviews. And I promise you, if you use those reviews to your advantage, the whole reason we're having this little segment about reviews is to make sure that you understand that those reviews can be leveraged to get you that direct business that you are ultimately wanting. Now, what's going to get you more direct business is before everything on this video, this entire series, customer service champions, all of the things that we talked about, identifying your customers, anticipating their needs, uh, being kind to them, all of that is much more a part of your customer service journey. Reviews are not going to uh, fix a bad attitude. They're not going to fix uh, the things that you didn't do. But what they will do, all of those things will put you in a place to where people will want to give you a good review. And now that you've done, you've studied all of those items and you're ready to really implement them and you're practicing, now you're in a place to ask for that review. So all of that hard work is going to keep working for you if you just ask someone to reiterate it for you. I could walk into a room and be like, I'm the best notary in Phoenix, Arizona. But how do they know that? Because anybody can walk in and say they're the best. And guess what? Now that the cat's out of the bag and we got all these YouTube channels and side hustles and brand new notaries bursting into existence every second, um, it's harder to stand out and you have much more competition. So as a notary star, my secret weapon has always been my review. What can I get someone to back me up and say, hey, I did a good job. Um, so that's going to be it for this uh, particular segment. I want to start with just questions about asking for reviews. If you have any questions on that, um, please raise your hand now. And then if we have general questions, we'll ask for those at the end that are not related to the topic. Um, but I want to see if we have any questions on customer uh, on getting reviews tonight. Miss Beth, I got to make you. I do have a question. Yep. I want to know how you would coach or mentor someone who is just so incredibly shy to ask for a review. Well, here's the thing. Um, I will, I know you guys look up to me and think I am so confident. He gets on there. He just talks and talks and talks, but that was 12 years in the making. Okay, I'm going to use this as an example. When I was 21, I, I was a good looking guy. And people used to be like, why are you afraid to go to a bar? I was even talking about Miss Beth about this. I was afraid to go to a bar that's across the street from my house. And you guys know, I talk about loving my wine and my, my beers uh, when, when it's appropriate. But I've always had this scared part of myself. Um, to, I'm not a confident person. You know, I may come off about it when I'm talking about work, but I love my work and I love making sure you guys know this. I go into this mode. If you're not confident uh, to ask for that review, uh, and I'll, I'll tell you this, when I first started walking in for direct business, boy, I'm telling you, I went through two, three suits a day because I would go out and the first three places I went in, I'd be sweating from, you know, my pits to my sides and it would just be one giant guy staying, you know, and I, it, and it is plus it's Arizona, but it was because of my nerves. And I will say, if you're shy, you have to get over it. You won't sweat bullets forever and sweat never hurt anyone. Um, nerves never hurt anyone. You have to put that side of yourself aside as a business owner. And I had to learn to do it too. Case in point, Notary Stars, I wanted to open six years ago. I wanted to do this six years ago, but I posted on an internet forum somewhere, wouldn't it be great if we had X, Y, and Z? And 
50 notaries overnight. I woke up to like feeling like I had, you know, used a bad word or something, uh, told me where I could go. We already had one, two, three notary and rotary notary. And, you know, how dare you think you're better than anybody to teach anybody. And it was, it was horrible. Um, but then I got over it. I saw the need for it and it stayed in my brain and it stayed in my heart. I had to get over it. And I will tell you the first couple of episodes of Notary Stars, it was, it, my pulse was just, you know, I, I, it was hard, but I got over it. I got over asking for reviews. I got over walking into a title agency. If you have those types of things that are keeping you from uh, that, that mentality, I say, come to Notary Head to Heart because we talk about those types of things. We don't always talk about business. We talk about the things that get in the way of our business. Uh, come to that episode once a month, but don't wait for that. Make yourself get over it. You know, you have to, as someone said this today, I think it was on Kelly Clarkson, where she said, I had to get over myself uh, in order to kind of become who I was. And you're a business owner, so you really have to get over yourself and your fears of asking for that review. You, especially if you're in this program or you're watching this video later, because it's only going to be for our members, you guys are seeking out the confidence. You, I, most of you come religiously and get on Notary Stars and watch every video. And even if it's over time, you know, I, I, I know the people that come to our platform really want the best for themselves in the long run. So all of you really have to get over the confidence issue on your, I, I wish I could do it for you the first time and be like, look, wasn't so bad, but I, I can't push you off a cliff but you got to swallow it. And, and I promise you, if you do, will you get over it the first time? No, but by the 10th time, it's going to be a lot easier. And I promise you, and I promise you, I was there too. You know, I got chills just thinking about little Ronnie Lee seven years ago, um, different person. I was still where you were. And I started 12 years ago, um, but I got over it. And I only got over it recently. You know, once I got my first taste of a big client, then I was like, wow, I remember when I hired Hannah and Kenneth, I said, there will never be a race. I don't ever see this going bigger than what it is right now. Boy, was I wrong. And you guys can do that too, you know? Uh, so practice asking for a review. And once you make yourself do it, make yourself do it. And I had to do that too. Uh, Miss Christina? Okay, so I don't have a question, but I have a suggestion. I just mm -hmm. want to share my experience with the reviews because I just started doing it since you mentioned it. And the last five that I asked, I got it right away. And what I did was I just said, I'm going to be sending you a text. Are you okay with reviewing me? Send me, um, sending me a review. And they all say, sure, because they're happy. And most people are usually happy at that time when they're done signing. And I get them within like five minutes. Like I'll get a little notification that I just got it. So I feel like if you do it right away, as soon as you leave, as soon as I get in my car. Oh, so I have, so what I did is I copied and pasted the link to review to myself. And then I, I'll just copy and paste it to their phone number that I was texting them anyway, when I was um, scheduling them. So I'll send the review, the request review. And then within five minutes, I get one, which is pretty cool. So yes. yeah, I just That's wanted exactly to exactly what I did. And I did it in my car, just like you said. When I was leaving the table, when I got in my car, I, I always double check at the signing and then double check in the car. And then I know it's good when I'm ready to go ship. And, uh, and it's fresh in their mind. It's fresh in their mind because I feel like if we wait a day or two, they'll probably just ignore it. And, and then they go right back to work or they go yeah. right back to anything and they don't have time. But then you put it right under their nose, under the, especially if you're speeding up your signings and you're getting done quicker. And yeah. then you've told them please allow up to an hour and you get it done in 45 minutes and then you're out in the car. They are still in that little window where they didn't have anything else to do at that moment. So you're, you're, you're being really smart about that. And thank you for bringing that up because that's exactly when I do mine. Yeah. And thank you for suggesting that. Cause I, I wasn't doing it. I wish I had started doing it sooner, but I've got five now. So that's cool. I'm excited. There you go. And keep thank them you. coming and make sure to disperse them out over different platforms. I'll, yeah, I only have yours right now. So I'm going to have to open a Yelp account and a Google one as well. So yep. thank you. Thank you. And then Mr. Manuel. 
yes. Um, here in Christina, um, I feel now like I'm pushy. Because <laughs> uh, the way I do it is uh, while I'm revising, uh, not revising, but while I'm going over the documents once they have signed, uh, what I do is I pull out my, my phone and I already have the, 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 the barcode from uh, notary stars and I say, hey, uh, do you mind giving me a, re a, um, a review while I check all the signatures that I didn't miss any signatures, would you mind do that? But now I feel like I'm really appreciate like having them actually do it right there and then. <laughs> yes. So I don't know if-, if I would agree. <laughs> um, I would say if you're gonna do it with the QR code, I would actually have it printed out on like little cards and it, it can be very inexpensive if you use Vistaprint get different QR codes for different sites and like maybe line them up and say, review on one of these three sites, please, and leave it with them um, or do the text message version of that and just alternate through them. Um, I, I feel, and I, my, like my chiropractor has one of those QR codes like right at the door, please leave us a review. And nobody's asking or anything, but I feel like right at the table in front of you, that's a little much, much. <laughs> yeah, to, to say, um, can you do it right now? I'm watching you, you know, uh, that, that just doesn't, you know. I also used to make a joke to when, uh, uh, before I started doing this and I wanted AMROC to know, hey, Ronnie did a great job. Um, I used to leave my business card and this worked out with me, by the way, um, you're not allowed to leave a business card for yourself for MROC, but I made business cards with their logo on it and my vendor ID. And I used to make a little joke. If you feel so inclined to let your uh, loan officer know that you had a great experience with me today, here's my vendor ID. If you did not, please let me know and I'd like to take it back. And even before that, <laughs> I would say, um, you know, if you'd like to let your officer, loan officer know that you had a great job today. Again, my name was Ronnie Mickle. If you didn't have a great experience, my name was John. <laughs> and so, you know, I like to make little jokes with the signers as well, but you've got to learn to get that off your tongue and time it right, because jokes are not always timed properly uh, and it can come off a different way. Uh, but, uh, you know, you don't want to pressure them into giving you a review. You, it, a review is just a courtesy. And let's face it, sometimes we sign people that are not so nice and they're not going to review us anyway. Or they may be shy. Some people don't want to be on the internet or have their name associated with anything. You, you know, that's why we need to ask a lot, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot, because the more we ask, the more we're going to get. All right, guys, are there any more questions related to this particular topic tonight before we actually stop the recording? We'll continue to talk tonight, uh, but are there any more questions related to reviews? And it's okay if you don't, uh, but if you do, I'd like to get that on camera because it does help the, the notaries uh, that are watching the replay. Um, so if you have any questions about reviews, we'll go uh, going once, going twice, three times sold, so we will stop the recording here, but we'll still stick around and ask if you guys have any questions about the entire series tonight. <laughs> 